Previously I showed you the minimum requirements for setting up collections management module for Microsoft Dynamics GP. Today I'm going to show you some additional setup features that are part of cards. So what we're going to do in the sales series under cards we'll choose our drop down list and we'll go to the collections management area. And we'll start with collection actions. A collection action is something that you can attach to a note to explain what kind of action was occurred. So you can just create a list of specific kinds of actions. And you can even include follow up so you kind of create a to do list. So I have one out here, for example. I have letter sent. Now, um, so I just created that letter sent action type. Is it a dispute, a promise to pay, or special? So you can, that's just another area that you can inquire on. And if it takes follow-up action, how many days should it take to follow up? So how many days will I want to put that on my to-do list? And then if, um, if there is no follow-up action, do we want it marked automatically as completed? In this case, if a letter sent, I do want it marked completed because it would have been completed. So let's close that feature out. Under collections information, you can set up uh, individual collection managers for individual customers. So I'm going to just pull up this uh, particular customer and I can choose which credit manager I want or collection manager and which of this customer's addresses I want to use for collection and then some per, uh, information pertaining specifically to this customer. What's the preferred method of contact? What time zone are they in? And so forth. Let's go ahead and close that out. Next we'll go to collection letters. Now collection letters, there are 21 defined uh, letters out there and the collection letters are stored in the report writer. Now you can attach a Microsoft Word mail merge to it if you want and use that instead if you like. I'm going to just save that and then I'm going to go to transfer credit manager. So as you have all your individual credit managers, if you need to transfer a range um, of customers from one credit manager or collection manager to another. This is a window that you can do that in. So those are some of the additional basics to using the credit manager module. So then you could go under sales and start using it. The easiest way is just go straight to collections and pull up an individual customer. I'll pull up Adam Park Resort and then you could start tracking information on them. So if you have a new note you want to talk about. For example, if I called them on the phone, notice I have a place to put in action. Um, I did it today, so I'll select today. Today I called, Roberta's my contact person, Roberta on the phone to discuss outstanding balance. At a minimum, this is how you can use it. We'll get into more detail in a future video. Hope this helps. Thanks.